a really simple way to analyze forces on an incline is to use geometry to your advantage and treat some angles as other angles. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to start with this object and draw straight down our gravitational force vector. So it's just going to be mg there. The next step is to draw something that is perfectly perpendicular to the slope of the incline. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw that line and then we're going to complete this right triangle here. The interesting thing is that this angle theta will be the exact same as this angle theta here. So now we can calculate the amount of gravity that is felt in this perpendicular direction as mg times cosine theta because the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then this one down here is equal to mg sine theta. Where this becomes very useful is that this part here, the perpendicular one, is equal to the normal force. So the normal force will be equal to mg cosine theta. That's the normal for force that is exerted by gravity. And you can use that for friction calculations and things like that. And the amount that gravity is exerting a force that's pushing this object down the incline is simply equal to mg sine theta, which is identical to this part here. So this component is the downward slope there. This component is the normal force. And you can assemble this triangle very simply by drawing the gravitational force vector, drawing something that is perpendicular to the slope, and then creating a right triangle out of that. And as soon as you can do that, you can calculate normal forces and you can calculate the gravitational force that is pushing this object down the incline.